history. Voyager 1 is now a starship. The space probe launched from Central Florida 36 years ago has made it beyond the solar system, the first human-made object to do so. Watch 2's Dan Billow tells us what Voyager carries to communicate with other civilizations. For nearly five decades, Voyager 1 has traveled alone through the vast, silent void beyond our solar system, an aging spacecraft drifting farther than any man-made object in history, deeper than any probe has dared to venture. It has long been thought of as a ghost ship of the cosmos silently carrying the hopes, data, and memories of a distant Earth. Scientists expected nothing more than the steady decline of signals as its systems aged and its power faded. And yet, just when they thought Voyager 1 had entered its final chapter, something truly unprecedented occurred. The spacecraft changed its course, not as a response to a command from Earth, not as a result of mechanical failure, but seemingly of its own volition. Even more disturbingly, just days before this shift in trajectory, Voyager 1 picked up a low-frequency hum, a sound with no identifiable origin, no match in NASA's records, and no scientific explanation. And now, with its antenna still pointed at Earth, Voyager is heading back, or being pulled. What did it encounter in the darkness? What did it see that made it turn? To understand how extraordinary this moment truly is, we must return to the beginning. In 1977, NASA launched two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, originally designed to take advantage of a rare planetary alignment that occurs only once every 17 six years. The mission was meant to perform a grand tour of the outer planets using the gravitational slingshot effect of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune to propel the probes deeper into the solar system. Voyager, one was tasked with flying by Jupiter and Saturn, capturing the first ever close-up images of their moons and rings. The images it sent back in the late 70s and early 80s redefined planetary science. Volcanoes erupting on Io, the complex ring structures of Saturn, the mysterious haze of Titan, and so much more. But once it had completed its planetary mission, Voyager 1 kept going. It passed beyond the orbit of Pluto, beyond the heliosphere, and into interstellar space, a region never before touched by human technology. With each passing year, it sent back less data, but held on to one unshakable purpose, to continue exploring. Even as its systems grew colder and weaker, even as the light from our sun became a memory, rather than a presence, for decades, Voyager 1 transmitted signals back to Earth, mostly weak, heavily delayed packets of data about plasma density, magnetic fields, and cosmic rays. But on a quiet day, deep into its 46th year in space, its instruments registered something they had never detected before, a faint continuous hum buried within the plasma wave frequencies. At first, scientists believed it was interference or a malfunction in the aging instruments. But when the same reading appeared repeatedly and was verified by multiple antennas in the deep space network, concerns grew. The sound resembled no known space phenomenon. It wasn't cosmic background radiation. It wasn't a solar flare. It wasn't coming from any direction they could triangulate. More hauntingly, it seemed to fluctuate in perfect mathematical intervals like a message that wasn't meant to be heard, but recorded. For weeks, engineers and astrophysicists poured over the data, cross-referencing it with every known cosmic event, and still no explanation came. Then, without warning, Voyager 1 initiated a subtle but measurable change in its trajectory, a deviation no one at NASA had commanded. And just like that, the question changed from what did we hear to who or what heard us. Voyager 1 is powered by an aging radioisotope thermoelectric generator and its ability to maneuver is limited to tiny adjustments through small thrusters, which haven't been used in years. But telemetry confirmed it. The spacecraft had altered its orientation slightly, but definitively, as though adjusting to better see or align with something in deep space. 
Engineers scrambled to determine whether it was the result of a pre-programmed fallback behavior, perhaps an outdated line of code finally triggering due to a sensor anomaly, but the logs showed no such command. More perplexing was the fact that this course change placed Voyager's camera array, which had been shut down since the 1990 pale blue dot image, facing a direction toward which no celestial object was known to exist. The area in question had no stars visible to the naked eye, no galaxies catalogued, no gravitational anomalies recorded. To why point there? What had Voyager seen in its instruments? And why had it reoriented so precisely? At a distance of over 15 billion miles from Earth, there is no autopilot, no corrections, no assistance, and yet Voyager made a decision, or so it seems. What followed in the weeks after the trajectory shift was, if possible, even more disturbing. Voyager 1's transmissions began arriving with subtle alterations, minor distortions in signal timing and frequency that upon closer inspection revealed patterns embedded deep in the data stream. These were not transmission errors, they were intentional modulations, repeating across multiple packets, forming complex sequences reminiscent of binary logic and harmonic resonance. Scientists at JPL consulted cryptographers, AI experts, and linguists. Some suggested these patterns might represent a form of response or recognition, as if Voyager was not just observing something, but being observed in return. The notion that the signal could be a two-way communication, one begun by Earth nearly five decades ago with the launch of the Golden Record, has raised unsettling possibilities. Could Voyager have encountered an intelligence that doesn't emit signals in our frequency bands, but instead uses gravitational waves, magnetic distortion, or some unknown medium to communicate? And if so, has that intelligence noticed us Following the course correction and signal distortions, top-level meetings began to unfold behind closed doors at Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena. A select team of physicists, engineers, and mission veterans were summoned to review the anomaly. What was originally considered a minor deviation quickly turned into a heated debate among experts. Some argued it was a last gasp from a dying spacecraft a final error, a misfire of failing hardware, but others looking at the consistency of the altered signal and the precise directional change suggested something far more alarming, that Voyager 1 might have encountered an unknown gravitational or electromagnetic phenomenon, or worse, that it was responding to something not naturally occurring. With each new data burst received, patterns became harder to ignore, geometric ratios, symmetrical intervals, and harmonic feedback hinted a deliberate structure as if something was mirroring or mimicking the probe's activity. The JPL team, torn between skepticism and awe, found themselves asking a question no space agency is ever truly prepared to answer. What do we do if this isn't random? As whispers of the data leak reached the wider scientific community, a wave of independent analysis emerged from universities and observatories around the world. Several prominent physicists proposed a radical theory that Voyager 1 may have entered a field of dark matter interaction or even brushed against a region of space-time distortion, the kind hypothesized in the presence of massive gravitational anomalies or exotic astrophysical objects. But one paper in particular caused widespread discomfort. A group of AI researchers had used pattern recognition software to analyze the modified signal and found that it appeared to mirror aspects of the Arecibo message, the binary radio transmission humanity sent to the stars in 1974. Some of the sequences Voyager was now receiving had mathematical overlaps with that very message, raising the chilling possibility that some form of intelligence had received our signal and was now responding using Voyager as a relay. Was this a coincidence born of cosmic noise or a cosmic reply? 
When Voyager 1 was launched, Carl Sagan and a small team of scientists placed aboard it one of humanity's most iconic artifacts, the Golden Record. A copper disc coated in gold containing greetings in 55 languages, music from multiple cultures, and scientific diagrams intended to introduce Earth and its inhabitants to any life form that might one day find it. Most thought of it as symbolic, a romantic gesture more than a real attempt at communication. But now, with Voyager showing signs of deviation and possible interaction, attention has turned back to that record. Some now speculate whether the information on it may have been decoded or interpreted by something Voyager passed near, after all. The diagrams include detailed maps of Earth's location relative to known pulsars. If anything, or anyone understood it, then Voyager 1 isn't just a relic, it's a beacon. And it has been carrying our coordinates for nearly half a century. If that beacon was heard, the implications are staggering, not just scientifically, but for the future of human security and existence. As more layers of data are decoded and the signal continues to evolve, Internal documents from NASA suggest a quiet shift in protocol. Project members have reportedly been instructed to cease speculation about non-natural causes in official communications and instead classify the event under data anomaly review. But off the record, some insiders admit they're deeply disturbed because what Voyager seems to be experiencing doesn't match any known astrophysical behavior. It behaves like an interaction, it mirrors like intelligence, and it adapts like something that's aware. There's growing fear, not just of what it is, but of what it means. If a machine drifting through the most isolated place in the known universe has encountered a presence or a field or a signal that responds to its movements, then we're facing a question we've never had to ask before. Not what is out there, but rather, has something been watching us this entire time? Voyager 1 was never supposed to last this long. It wasn't built to whisper across the stars for nearly half a century. And it certainly wasn't designed to make contact, let alone respond to something beyond our known reality. But that's exactly what it may have done. What began as a mission to explore our outer planets has become a story of cosmic proportions, a moment where science brushes against the edges of philosophy and awe gives way to unease. This spacecraft, drifting silently more than 15 billion miles from home, may have found something, or perhaps something has found it. The signal distortions, the impossible course correction, the mirrored patterns, the echo that didn't belong to us. It all points to a single breathtaking possibility. Voyager 1 may have made the first real contact, not with intelligent life as we imagine it, but with something else, uh, something vast, something structured, something watching. If this is the final chapter of Voyager's journey, then it ends not in silence, but with a question loud enough to shake the foundations of everything we know. What if we are no longer the observers?